and we're back with another video this is jenny's pages and in today's video i actually wanted to do something different i'm not sure if you guys will, are gonna like it but i decided to do like a video log slash completed pages so i hope that you guys do enjoy this video and it's gonna be like throughout the month of different things that i'm doing just to turn it into a video log and if you guys do like it please 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 make sure let me know in the comments down below or let me know by giving me a thumbs up if you guys did like this video i'll continue to do these videos for you guys so i ended up purchasing this art table um i had always heard that these are pretty expensive let me see if i can show you guys a little bit more but i actually found them found this one for a pretty good size at timu i had looked through amazon with my husband and they were pretty expensive through there so i decided to look through timu and i found the less than 20 bucks on there so i ended up getting myself one it does have like different um levels on here that you can put it as tall as you want that's the lowest that it goes which is perfectly for me so i want to show you guys how it looks with a disney book over here we have a disney book this is how big a disney book is and it fits perfectly and if you are trying to do like a double page or just trying to open up the book this just falls in perfectly for me to do my disney books and also with like a regular book this is i mean this these are the small ones but it's perfect as well for me to like color in here i had to get this because my neck was killing me and i like to color during the day and i was like you know what i really need one of these art stands so that is this and then here are some books that i have stacked on the side they're including in my buddy color which is pretty much all of these in the bottom and then the rest are just random either disney books or coloring books that i want to work throughout the month so these are the ones that i have picked out for this month and i just worked my way from the top all the way to the bottom and then here are behind here there's other books that i already completed for this month that i already did a few pages this is my next book that i want to do a few pages out of here I'm not sure which one i want to tackle but for sure this page this one has a lot of cute pages and this is one of them that i would like to actually complete so yeah that's definitely well i'm not sure what i'm gonna color but we'll see what i'm gonna do there here we have this section in the bottom i keep it in the bottom because of my other half of the table which is up here i actually have it for just to be putting like this stuff on here so whenever i'm going to color regular books this is what i use i have uh, my acrylic here i got glitter my stavalos and my stickles on there i also have like my water-based markers there this is just for my journaling stuff on here which are stickers on there and then this is for my like my nail stuff that i do and it's pretty much here we have my ahuhu um, markers including my arctic um, skin markers and my kelly art um, pastel colors markers on here and then here on the top i have my acrylic tuli art markers also including my acrylic brush and markers on here plus my little um, color chart that I have and this is going to be all gone because I'm supposed to be receiving a package and that package is for these Tuli art markers and maybe these or these are going to go in here and then I'm probably just going to put using my Tuli art markers in the package that I receive whenever I do receive that package I'll show you guys what I'm talking about I ended up getting the package here so I'm gonna go ahead there's two boxes on here as you guys can see and I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you guys what I ended up getting
So here we have it. I finished it building these up. They're very, very easy, even though I looked like I was struggling because I was. Because when I was trying to add these on the top, these little things on the middle were moving. And so they kept getting out of the little holes on here. So, um, yeah, that was my problem. But besides that, I built them and I thought they were pretty much going to be like a bigger. And they do fit 120 markers in here. So the reason why I got these is because I want to use my Tuli Art markers. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of my Tuli marks oh Tuli marks all of my Tuli art markers on here and then um i'm not sure exactly how i'm gonna divide them but we'll go from there so here we have it i finished it my son had helped me out with this and this is what i have on here just the Tuli art markers on here because those are the mostly ones that i use i also have the acrylic for like 120 i might have to buy like one more of these to add those which i do want to include them on here because those are the ones that I use for my Disney color by number. But I really, really love how this turned out. If you guys can tell here, there's like a space there. But there's one here. There's two there. That's every time like this right here to this number 36. That's one set of the acrylic markers. And then it starts with the yellow sets on here, red sets, and so on like that. So I just left that space there until I figure out um, how I'm going to do it or probably just write on here. Maybe. I'm not really sure. But we'll see from there. And I'm really excited. love how it turned out. And I think I'm going to be buying one more set of these just for my other brush acrylic markers. So here we have this book. This book I've been wanting to catch up on it i ended up leaving like one whip in here so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my whip um i have a few that i wanted to get done here it's not technically a whip it's just doing the outline on this one so i do want to complete this one and then i also want to complete this one now that i already did the black outline but i do have a whip in here so it's this one right here and i had it and i actually forgot about this one and I did this a while back. So I'm gonna see if I can finish this one. And then I do have one more that I did like the black outline. 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 Oh, there goes another one that I wanna complete. So it's already four. Let me see. I know there's one and more. And it has just, oh, there it is. The little eyes. And I think this is Tinkerbell. So I'm hoping that I can actually work on these. Um, I'm actually going out for an appointment for my kids. And then when I come back, I'll be working on the nature book, which I really, really like. So I am back home and I ended up picking out all the colors from down here. So I usually start from the last letter and I work my way down. Um, I don't know why, but I always do that. So here are all the colors that I'm going to be using on here. And these are the brush acrylic markers, which I found them on Timu. They're actually cheaper on Timu than on um, Amazon. This is the 120. And I only ended up using three of the Tuli Art markers right here. So that's pretty much the page that I'm going to be working on. the page i finally completed this page i'm excited because this page has been just with the black outline for a very long time the only thing that i do regret as you guys can see right here i'm gonna go back and see if i can fix this um because i did the black first it technically like the other colors i ended up going you know over it because i am using a brush tip so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna do it off camera and fix that up there like the back area because usually um, when you leave the black for last, it just technically like cleans up the page. That's how I, I guess I can explain it. It just cleans it up completely. So, but here is my page and it's done. And I like to do the borders depending on the character's colors. And that's pretty much how I use the borders on here. So that's, it's, that is one of the pages complete. You guys was able to see this one before my completed pages, but it's just, um, 
yeah i hope that you guys did enjoy this page i didn't really do everything that i had colored in i ended up moving my phone stand and i forgot to put it back where i had it so i can actually put my phone and record when i'm coloring so we're going to be moving on to my completed pages on here this is all the pages that i had completed during the month of october so once again i hope that you guys do enjoy this video and starting on with this one this is by coco Ohio, cozy friends and i did about two pages out of here so the first one was a live i did this on the, my live i usually go on fridays on live this is how my page turned out i really really love those glitter uh, markers that i had purchased on amazon and they really make the page pop out i did try to stay with the same amount of colors on here i didn't want to use too many colors on there but i really really do like how this one turned out i love what like i said how that glitter affects on the page it just makes the page look way better but this was a live page that i did in october one of the fridays and then and moving on to this one this is the second page this was a buddy color with heather's um can't really remember i'll see if i can write it on the screen for you guys but it is heather and um, this is a page that we had completed on here this is my page. I did use, I believe I used um, alcohol markers on here. Yes, I did use some alcohol markers and then some water-based markers as well. So very cute um, two pages that I had completed and I really, really do like this book. Here we have Lush A Little Landscape and this one I believe I only did one page which is this one right here. Very fun and cute basic um coloring book and i really like how this one turned out i like it i just wanted to stay with the same simple colors on here and left the chair white with the umbrella a little bit of white in between um it's pink on there with this a beautiful green that i love very simple book to complete on here here we have the um, i'm not sure exactly how this is pronounced i don't know if it's hygie at I just i'm not really sure but it is um by sui sui and this one is also another adorable one of those cute this one i did do it on the video log for you guys so you guys have seen me um color in a few items on here and this is how the page turned out i did use metallic on the little slippers on here on his um scarf on here as well a little bit on the leaves and the tree over here very cute page i like how it turned out very cozy i love this time of year when it's cold you could just sit back cover yourself hot ch hot cocoa chocolate whatever you want to drink and it's just uh, the best feeling <laughs> but here moving on to the second page i completed i believe this was the first one i did no 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 i did the other one first and then i did this one i wanted to do a second page out of here and this one came out okay i didn't really do much to it i feel like i did too much green involved like everything just you know like the frogs are green this is green but um i really do like how it still turned out it's another page that i had completed out of this book here we have this one is adorable summer friends this is by danielle cottontail this is the cozy and fuzzy coloring book and i really like her coloring book as well i think i believe she has more or i have all of them i'm not really sure i'm just it's really hard to keep up with all the coloring books that i have but here we have this one and this one i used a little bit of metallic on the sky i didn't um color in the background on here i actually forgot to do that but maybe i'll go back someday and see if i can finish that part up but i really like how this page turned out and it's super cute based on a dog and a cat on here and um that's pretty much it that i use were just a metallic color on here i didn't use any glitter or any stickles or anything like that just kept it very basic and i believe i used some alcohol markers and also some water-based markers on this book well on this page and i'm moving on to the second page that i had tackled for this month was this page as well the little cat i believe she is and the little mouse on here and on, if only this was true that they can actually sit down and be in peace and drink some coffee together, right? But um, <laughs> I really did like this page and it turned out really cute and very simple for me. Once again, I didn't use anything special on it, any glitter or anything like that, but just kept it very simple for this one. Moving on to Snuggly Buglies. This one is by Blissful Moments Coloring Book. I'm, sh I'm thinking it's Blissful Moments. I'm not sure if they actually have like... This says by P.E. Aladis Lina Aluna. 
um but in the front it says blissful moment so um this one is another cute one that i ended up purchasing through amazon and this is the page that i had tackled i wanted to do the flowers like if they had a little bit of white on there and also i used my jelly nope my gel pens not my jelly rolls my gel pens on there for the flowers so you can see the little shine on there i also used the same one for her hat so i could have a little bit of her ribbon on there shiny but it was a fun page to complete as well also on the flowers on the back i used it um and then i wanted to do like the pink style i really like when i do like the pink bushes or like the pink um trees i don't know they look really nice but this is the page that i completed moving on to comfy and cozy coloring book this is by jay summer and i believe i completed three i just didn't mark them i just wasn't sure how to mark the pages on here so let me go ahead real very quickly and search the pages that i had completed so i do apologize like i said i was trying a technique um where to put these papers but it didn't work out for me so i'm still searching so this is the page that i had completed which is the little camping on here i ended up doing like a little bit of stickles on him like if he has some type of uh you know glitter effect on his body in some section i also did like glitter effect effect up here which are these stickles as well and then everything else i believe i used was alcohol marker and water-based markers and um it was an okay page i mean i feel like i didn't do much to it i didn't do a lot of shading to it or anything like that but it was a fun page for me to complete and i believe i have more if i'm not mistaken it's probably in the other book this is from september yeah here we have the second page that i had completed is this one right here these two little lovebirds right here well they're not actually lovebirds but you know um that phrase they say and this is um how it turned out i ended up using a lot of um water-based markers and a little bit of alcohol markers on this page i like how it turned out very simple and i believe i might have one more if not I have a confused yes i do here we have another one that i had completed and this one this one is actually a buddy color with jewels which is quirky girls world on instagram you guys can go ahead and give her a follow-up but here is my page she had picked out this page for us to complete and mine turned out i like how it turned out um they use stickles on top of it just to make it a little bit more shiny on there use metallic for the bat and yeah i like how my page turned out really nice so let's go ahead and show you how jules page came out she did awesome as well for hers and i believe that was the last page out of this pdf book i guess you can call it that i could had completed here we have another one by Danielle Cottontail. This is one, this one is Adorable Cute Friends Cozy and Fuzzy Coloring Book. And I really like this whole lemonade stand. I don't think I had done this one yet, but I did do one with the same llamas in here. And this is the page I decided to um, complete out of here. It's a little bit metallic on the llamas. Kept it very simple. Once again, there goes the pink trees back there. But I really like how it turned out simple basic and nothing like whoa it came out super shiny or glittery but i like how it turned out either way we had comfy days by coco wild this one was a gift from one of the girls it's cute and comfy coloring book and here we have the first page that i had worked on and i used stickles for the curtains um, I use water-based markers as well. Pretty much the whole book was water-based markers except like this right here. And then this in the back, you can see it because of the glitter effect on there, the stickles on there. But this is pretty much how my page turned out. Very simple. And I really like how it turned out. But that's the first page I did out of this one. And then the second page was this one was based on a live. It was, I believe, a Friday and um because sometimes i'll go like tuesdays on a live so i think this was a friday and this is how my page turned out and some of the girls did gave me some color palettes i believe the wall back here was a color palette from one of the girls this as well they told me how to or what colors to use they picked out for how what to do with the bees and stuff like that which i gave them options to let me know on the live it just made it funner 
and the background for the sky as well but it was a fun page and i was a very entertaining finishing this i think it took me about an hour and so but i really love how that shine looks on the bee house super cute page here we have by danielle cottontail as well adorable best friend i think i have all of her books or maybe i'm missing one i'm not really sure but i will be double checking um on my amazon wish list see if i am missing one but i think i am missing one or two or i probably have all of them i it's just so many books to keep up with but this is the only page that i had tackled for this month was the little giraffe with with the elephant on here love 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 how it turned out very cozy they're just studying i think they're they're just reading a book or just creating their own diary journal i guess <laughs> but very cute page and i used a little bit of metallic on the giraffe and metallic for the lamp and what's holding the curtains as well so very simple page going on to chibi girl this is by um larissa may and um this was one of her newest one that came out it's bought an easy coloring book and i only completed a one page out of here which is this one over here like i said i kept it simple didn't do the background um but i did use water-based markers on this one and a little bit just the little um chair here is um basically um alcohol markers on there so that's pretty much how this page turned out and it's a very very cute book i really like this book very simple it's very different compared to how larissa may actually does her books but this one is very cute moving on to this one this one is fairy tale chibi coloring book this was actually a gift from one of the girls as well and i really really love this book and look at this one i wanted to go base exactly i mean it is snow white um at first i was just gonna like randomly just pick whatever color palette i wanted for my um character on here but then i was like you know what i'm just gonna go based on snow white and just um yeah just stick with that and this is exactly how she turned out to be um i like how it turned out the background i used soft pastel and then i just wanted to do like little bubbles effect around it but i think she turned out really good and i used water base and alcohol markers of course but this is the only page that i had completed out of this book moving on to chibi and baby fairies coloring book this one i did a book uh, not a book project i did a page out of here for this month and this is the page that we had worked on and this was a buddy color with the magic and color this is my page i wanted to do white hair for her or like grayish type of hair i guess you can call it i used a lot of stickles for her wings i did want to stay with the same basic colors for her outfit and everything else she had on and then same thing i used stickles for the little mushroom on here i thought that would look cool and then i also did it like if the the glitter was coming out of the mushroom just i don't know i just thought that would look cool and that's pretty much for this page so if i do have magic in color i'll be showing her page on here but this is the only one that we have completed out of this month um sometimes we do two sometimes we just do one page it all depends um how busy or not busy we are during the month here we have another one of these a pdf um coloring books this is cozy arrows this was a gift as well um by jay summer and i'm not sure exactly how many i completed i don't know if it was one or two but let's go ahead this one is in october this is why i write the dates because sometimes i'll forget but this is the one that i had completed go ahead and show it a little bit up close i used metallic on here and um for the plain as well metallic on here it's those type of metallic that i really don't like i think i when i was cleaning up my area my table i'll be showing you guys that on a little bit in the video log and also a little bit throughout the month um but what i did for this month i ended up getting rid of a few things because especially those metallic colors i was not interested on in those anymore i don't know if it's i I don't know it's just i didn't like the texture of it or anything like that or the way it fell on the page but this is one of them that i had completed i used also alcohol markers on here i didn't use any water base on this page but those metallics um markers i don't know like i guess I, i'm just more into seeing more effect on supplies that i buy so hopefully that um yeah i just had to get rid of them but here we have the second page i worked on as well this one right here which is her traveling i guess she's traveling but um i stay with the same colors for her outfit over here and then i gave them like a little bit of a those type of colors as well like they're all a type of family here um 
I didn't do the sky up here, but I felt like I did a lot of brown and a lot of dark color, you know, but I think it turned out okay. It's so cute. And I believe I did one more. Um, yeah, this one is another one. I completed in October and I really like how it turned out. Drinking coffee, eating, I'm guessing that's cheese. It's such a cute scenario on here. I really, really like how this one turned out. And I don't think, let me just make sure. This was in September, which I already showed you guys. Yeah, I think those were the only ones I did for the month of October out of this one. Moving on to this one is Fairy Beauties by Coco Wild. This one is a book project for anybody that's interested. I also wanted to explain something. I've been realizing there has been a few people that has entered the book project, but for some reason, they have left the book project. Um, It's like the same day they go in and a few minutes later, they go out. I'm not sure if it's because when they go in, they don't see the old messages from there from everybody because we are a total of 21 in the book project Um, and we're all at... Um, currently active but um just to make sure if you have entered just make sure give us a little bit of few times for us to like a few minutes for us to respond back um that way you know that you know they were there we're, we you're not gonna see messages from the prior you know before you had to come in um those are only the people that have been there they only see the messages since they came in and the if you weren't there from the beginning, when I first created the group, you would not see the beginning of the messages or anything like that. So just make sure to um, just give us a few minutes and then you guys will see that we will respond to whoever comes in. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and continue with this one. We did one page out of here. And while I'm showing you guys to my page, I'm going to go ahead in the right in the right corner or no, in the left corner, sorry, out of your screen, you guys will see everybody's page on the side. Only the ones that I had completed this month. But let me go ahead and show you guys how my, my page turned out. This one is my page, how it turned out. I really, really like how it turned out um i had fun with this page i did use a lot of metallic on here but the simple metallic nothing that caused that much intention like it's not as i guess i could say like a bright gold that can actually call attention and i'm going to show you guys sorry exactly what i mean by that there is a few pages that i think in this month i have used that metallic um Probably in one of them or two. I'm not really sure. I can't really remember. There's a few pages I did this month. So that's pretty much how mine's turned out. And I really do like how every single one of the girls had done in their pages as well. Like I said, there is a total of 21 of us. So each one of them is very unique. They're very different. They have a different style. And they're also, um, you guys can also follow them on Instagram as well. So don't forget if you guys want to go ahead and follow them, you're interested in what they do or they also do body colors, go ahead and follow them over there as well moving on to cute alphabet coloring book this was also a gift for my birthday which is in september but this is the page that i had tackled i am going to be used in doing this book until i spell out my name obviously my name has two ends for my short name jenny and what i'm going to do is obviously i can only use one name one n so that's pretty much what i'm going to be doing this month in october i ended up doing the j next month in november i'll do the e and so on until i spell out my name and then i ended up using these stickles on here stickles i ended up using these stickles no here we go again the stickers there we go the stickers on here that i added that I have for my journaling so I had extra ones that I said you know what why not use it for this page it matches regardless I ended up using yellow and then I ended up using like liquid pearls as well for like the outline on here and I had so much fun with this page so yeah I hopefully for next month I'll be spelling out not spelling out but I'll be doing the letter e and I'm not sure like they're all basically they're based on the alphabet but they're all different scenarios like her with the cactus on here here we have her here flowers they're really cute and they're in different positions so i really like this book and i want to say thank you for so far all the books that i have mentioned that are a gift um if you're watching my video thank you once again for the the book now to preppy chibi girls this is another book project and this is the page that we decided to tackle for this month, which is this one. I kept mine very simple. Used a little bit of metallic on her lace shoes and her outfit, her hat on there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that type of metallic on there. 
but this was a buddy color with quirky girls of world on instagram let me go ahead and show you guys her page she did an amazing job i love how she always has an idea for her background she always creates something on her background me i usually just leave mine's plain but she does an amazing job she comes out with a very unique style so i really love how she does her stuff so um, that's the only page we did for this month. Here we have Cute Chibi by Phobe M. If I'm not or I'm. Um, this was also a gift a while back. And this is the page that we tackle out of this book. This is a book project with um, low colors. This is my page. I used metallic for her hair. Just thought that that would look pretty cool. And then that's pretty much what I did out of metallic or stickles and stuff like that. I did like the the bubbles. I really like how they turned out. I actually found somebody that showed them with um, um, those colors and I just followed along. But I really like how my page turned out. Let's go ahead and show you guys how low colors page came out. Once again, hers is low colors and she is also on Instagram. Moving on to this one is the mythographic one. And I believe that's based on the birds or whatever i can't really say that so you guys already know me but i only completed one page which is this one and i had so much fun completed in this one i do regret i should have did like the black background on here but i ended up using the, like the dark purple one on here i think it still turned out okay i did a lot of gold glitter for the little um where she's at on here the key um but yeah, I really like how it turned out. I I wanted to get out of my way basically with the leaves. I sometimes see other people do like whatever color they want and it looks beautiful. I always stay to like green when it comes to like trees or the leaves and stuff like that. I was like, nope, I need to do something different. So I decided to do yellow and a little bit of type of orange with metallic on top. I'm not sure if you guys can see down there. But I was like, I need to like learn to do whatever colors I want as long as the page comes out cute. And be, you know, more creative with my pages, I guess. <laughs> Here we have Gabby Wolf, Mini Mania. This is volume number two. I believe I only completed one page on here. And I really like how it turned out. Kept it simple on there as well. I think I did it in the beginning of the month. So I actually forgot that I did this page. But that's the only page I worked out out of volume two. The same illustrator, Gabby Wolf. This one is volume five. And I actually completed this whole page as well. I had fun. I took my time with it. Usually when I see pages like this, I just do like by section one, one month and then finish the rest of the other month. But I'm trying to stop doing that. That's a bad habit for myself. I'm trying to see if I can actually just finish the whole entire um, page when it comes to like small sections like this. So that's the only page I tackled for this one. Here we have the Spooky Chibis by Alexandra Francis. This one was also a page that was picked um, out of the girls. They sent it to me for us to do this page. And this one, how mine's turned out, I wanted to do once again the white or grayish hairstyle. And I stayed with the same colored palette on here. Didn't want to use a lot of colors or anything like that. But this is how my page turned out. And this was a body color with quirky body color buddy color with quirky girls world so i do apologize how i am speaking today but <laughs> that is her page she did amazing i love how hers turned out very simple very cute and i really like her color palette as well yeah fairy chibi's coloring book this is by alexander francis it's a book project with a few girls out of here and this is our page for october this is my page i did the white dress or grayish Kept it simple. I really like how she turned out. And then I did a little bit of metallic on what she's holding on to. And then a little bit of metallic on her boots and stuff like that. I like how she turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys if I do have the pages of the girls. Um, so basically the people that are included on this video, on this book project is Low Colors. Quirky Girls World. Marie. Nadia, Kate, and Lele, I think it is. <laughs> but those are all the ones that are included in this book project. But our second page we had completed, if I can find my tab here, it's right here. 
here is my second page out of this month for the group this is how mine turned out i didn't do anything special with this one but i really do like how her i did this on the top little dots on there very nice and i actually did pink grass this time and so i was trying to think of the movie avatar where they have like the whole grass it lights up and stuff like that so i was like let me just do the, the pink style on here and once again is the low colors jewels nadia marie kate and lele so those are all the ones that had worked out. And let me go ahead and put the last name. I actually forgot one name, name here. But we already have our pages picked out for November as well. So Moving on to any day. This one is a Winter Tales coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. And this was actually a gift for my birthday. And I was excited because I ended up getting this one by one person. And then I ended up getting the autumn one by another person. And I was like, yep, I have the full collection. And I am super excited. But out of the winter one, I completed one book. One book. One page, which is this one. And I don't really like the background. I don't know why what made me use a yellow and red but <laughs> that's my page how it turned out and i still like it either way i used a little bit of metallic on there i used water-based markers and i believe i used alcohol markers yes i ended up using alcohol markers so i cannot wait to do another page out of here i do have a few that i want to tackle and especially because november and december is coming up so there's a few out of here that i want to get done so any day the autumn one i also did one page out of here which is this one and this one was actually a live through another platform um and i like how it turned out i was really excited to do this one i did three color combination for the leaves and i kept their basic simple and yeah at first i didn't know what the heck this was i think it was this or was this down here there's like a line here just a random line i wasn't sure what it was or if it's I don't think it's part of the coat so i wasn't sure exactly what that was from but um i really did like how this turn this one turned out and i also have a few of the pages out of here that i want to tackle for november and december to mermaids fairies this is by hannah lynn i completed this page right here I like how she turned out i love the color combination i picked out of here which is the green and the pink i love combining those two colors but and i also added a little bit of red on there and there for her hair i just kept it blue and purple but i really do like how this one turned out it was super fun super very easy to just get done because i stay with the same amount of colors if i would have added more i think i would have taken it a little bit longer but um yeah i didn't want to like um keep adding more colors to the to here and this is another one i want to tackle so i just wanted to know why i had this one there but um yeah that's another page i want to tackle but this one is the one that i completed for this month it faces by hannah lynn this one's a book project with low colors and we do two pages out of here every single month here's how mine's turned out i think i did okay i can't really put it up sorry guys because i have like um, my stuff up there but here's how mine's turned out and i really like how it turned out i really like i was trying to do like a water effect uh, bubbles type coming out you know like if you actually look at the ocean i guess <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense but anyways i was trying to do that effect on the page and i think it turned out okay um but i had so much fun and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys little colors on here we are pretty much close in finishing in this book i'm not sure if it's gonna be this year um but we have done a lot of pages out of this book so let me see if i can find my second tab on here because we did two pages my tab just goes inside i know i feel it here it is this is the second page that we had completed and this is how my page turned out and i really like how she looks and i use stickles for her wings and that's pretty much it I wasn't sure exactly they were all apples on here so i did some basically based on apples and then some based if it was oranges but i 
I think I'm wrong, but this is how my page turned out. So let me go ahead and show you guys low color. She did amazing with her page. She has amazing color palette as well. And I really like how she did hers. I believe she has the mini one, the small pocket size one. This is the big one. Now to 50 Ocean um, by Camilla Angel Kova. I did one page out of here, which was a buddy color as well. Here's my page, how it turned out. I used a lot of glitter for the turtles on here. And I realized I used a lot of dark colors as well for mine. But this was based on a color palette. Um, it was a buddy color with Angel Bay 2456. And she has Instagram. And um, she showed me a color palette. And that's how we went based on this one. So I might as well just join and then do the page with her. But thank you, Mandy. For doing this page with me to cute by camilla angel kova and this was another buddy color as well this is how my page turned out i love how mine turned out and i did glitter on there and metallic as well some random metallic on the bottom on here and then i used here i think this is liquid pearls not the metallic but the liquid pearls i used on here i don't know why i only did it for the feet and the ears but <laughs> it turned out okay and this was a body color with quirky girls world she did an amazing job for hers i like her color combination as well she always has a beautiful amazing color palette safari this one i believe i only completed one out of here which is this one i was watching a movie and i was coloring this one in really like how it turned out wanted to do like um the cactus here a different color i'm trying to you know get out of my way and try to do different things or try to do different colors combinations stuff like that but i like how this one turned out moving on to the 50 space theme and this one i did i believe two pages and here's the first one i completed and this one was also this was on a live and i believe this was on a tuesday i did this on a tuesday um and I believe someone gave me this color for um the astronaut and then also for the clouds on here as well so thank you so much for being part of my live we have so much fun getting to meet new people but this is how my page turned out kept a very simple outline with the glitter i think i believe was the jelly rose on here so that is this page and then I also did this one, but this one was just me coloring in a color by color with me. So if you guys want to go ahead and check this out, you guys will um, see this under my playlist color with me. So you guys can actually find that there. I used a lot of glitters on here, um, stickles as well on the background. Um, and I wanted to stay with them with the same color combination. So I did her first in the video, then I jumped over to him, and then I jumped over to the other monkey. But I really, really love how this page turned out. And then I ended up doing the background um, black as well. Just saw that they look like they're out of space, obviously. And because if it's up to me, I usually would just color in the picture and then not do nothing in the background. So now I have to do something in the background. So this is how mine's turned out and i really really do like how um it turned out with everything on here the 50 is spell bond and i believe i only completed one which is this one right here and very basic and simple and then i ended up using those brush markers for on the top up here but um forgot to move it at first so it doesn't have a lot of glitter on here and then i remember and then i started moving them and then i used them on the top which i really like how the effects comes out of those brush markers the only thing that i hate is that when i'm holding it it just colors my fingers and i'm not sure what it is because i'm not even touching the ink or anything like that so i don't know but this is how my page turned out and then i also use those metallics on here which i really don't like because they don't really shine or like that but that's the only page i believe that i completed we're going to be moving on to the uh disney color by numbers the ones that i have here um i believe i touched about seven i think it was and i did one page or two one page out of this one which was page nine that i completed Let's see if i can zoom out a little bit because these are a little bigger so this is the page i completed 
I used the Thule Art Markers and the Brush Acrylic Markers as well. And I really like how it feels. It's super smooth. But that's the only one I completed out of this. Moving on to Looney Tunes. This one is Tome 3. And I completed this page with Tweety Bird on here. Really love how she turned out. And I believe this is page 18. And then I ended up completing as well because I really like how this page, they, this page, this book, they created it. It's very, very easy compared to the first one. Um, I don't know. It's just something about it that I like. But this is the one that I tackled. This is page, I believe, 48. And this is the page that I did. Super cute. I mean, I love Looney Tunes because of the colors and stuff like that but that's the only two pages i completed moving on to babies this one i've been wanting to finish it for a while so i think i'm going to tackle it as much as i can november december before the end of the year because i've been wanting to finish this one but here we have this page here completed which page 47 i think it is this is a page that i had done I like how it turned out let's see what else i did i completed this one here once again i only use to the arm markers and the brush acrylic markers as well they're so the only um only two um mediums that i use and then i tackle this one as well so it's three pages i completed out of here i'm very close to finishing this book so i'm going to see how much i can do in november and december when it comes to disney so to see if i can actually finish this comic book before the end of the 2024 so those are the only ones I did out of this one. Make it down and co. This was a book project with low colors as well. We do two pages out of here out of the month until we can complete um, the book, obviously. But <laughs> um, here's one page we did. And I did do this on a live as well. But I didn't finish the outline. I only did until um, this character right here. And because this takes longer and I'm not sure how long people don't mind my lives and stuff like that. So I'm technically giving it an hour an hour and a half ish depending but for disney it takes longer for me um so i just wanted to stop until the first character here but that way you guys were able to see what i did what i didn't do on my disney books but this was a buddy color with low color so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how her page, her page turned out there's nothing different between our pages obviously because it's just technically disney and it just comes with the same colors so you guys are gonna be seeing the same colors it's just different ways how we complete our pages, I guess, or different mediums that we use. I'm not sure exactly what she uses, but um, this is the second page we have worked on, which is page 95. And this is my page, how it turned out. Tulian markers, um, the brush acrylic markers I used on here. And let's go ahead and show you guys low colors as well. But that is that for um and this one to nature i showed you guys this in the beginning of the video and i guess what i did accomplish um the pages that i did wanted to finish so here's the one that i had showed you guys it was a sneak peek in the beginning you guys seen this one that i completed it and i did fix out the outline on here on the black that i told you guys that i was gonna fix and yeah this is how the page turned out not gonna say much about it because obviously you guys already seen it and then here's the second one that i showed you guys that it only had the black outline on here so i did finish this one and um it turned out really good it was very easy very basic um page to complete the next page was this whip that I had for, uh, I think, probably a year. And I actually forgot about this whip that I had. And I did tackle it. Got it done. It only had, like, a Mickey, Minnie, and then the tree here. A little bit of this in the bottom. I had to just finish, like, the background and stuff like that. So, I did finish this page out of this book. And then two more pages out of here as well. That I said I was going to finish this one because I only had the eyes on there done. And then that's it. So, I finished this one. And I really like how they made this one um like the colors out of it it's i don't know it's just something about it but i really did like this page and then the last one that i tackled that i showed you guys on my video log in the beginning was this page which i really love this cat because of the colors i don't know what it is with the colors but the colors look really nice but it's another page i completed so all these five pages that i've been wanting to finish out of this book for the longest time are done and complete I don't have any more outlines on here that I had already done, which there's no problem with it, but I just wanted to get them done because they were irking me. To me, it was like, I started and I didn't finish. I started and I didn't finish. So I was like, I had to get them done. This, this one is the Villains 1, and I believe I did a 3 because I've been wanting to tackle this book, and it was still brand new. 
didn't touch it but i finally did three pages out of here it wasn't back to back i think i did one one day which was page seven i've been wanting to tackle this one this one took me a while to do because it did had a lot of details on here but here is one page that i completed the second one was page 23. I also finished this one. This one was more easier than the first one that I just worked on. It was less detailed and very basic. And then the last book, the last book, the last page was this one, which is page 77. So um, it, this whole area here was irking me like for some reason but i got it done i got it done and it finished you know and i guess it's the maze in the background and stuff like that <laughs> but yeah i finally touched and tackled a book that it was not touched for months so got three out of there done book to show you guys this is tome 11 and this is the page i only worked on one page because i've been working on this book back to back in different months so i only did one and this is how it turned out i really like how it turned out i really like these little kitties on here they're so cute but um yeah that's the only page i completed out of this book so i hope that you guys did enjoy my entire video um go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you guys did like this video but i see you guys on my next video and have an amazing amazing rest of your time